Uh, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, right now we're going to take a quick look at uh, matrix multiplication. Uh, it's going to be important in a lot of systems of equations uh, in later classes, um, later uh, higher levels of math, excuse me, uh, use matrix multiplication as a way to um, display systems of equations. Um, so matrix multiplication has to be done with uh, matrices that the first matrix must have the same number of rows as the second matrix does columns. So if we have A as an M by N matrix and B as an N by P matrix, uh, AB is going to result in an M, M by P matrix. Uh, we'll take a look at some examples momentarily. We have AB equals the resultant matrix C. And the um, components of C, uh, we've denoted it CIK, is going to be the sum of AIJ times uh, the entry BJK. So basically what that means, the first, uh, first entry of matrix C is going to be A11 times B11 plus A12, that's the uh, first row, second column, times B21, that's the uh, second row, first column. Um, and it's going to continue like that until you get to the end of the uh, first row of A. So you have A1J and then until you get to the bottom of the first column of B, uh, B, J, 1, and those are going to add together. All of that adds together to make uh, C, 1, 1. Um, now what I was talking about with the systems of equations, a lot of times you'll see uh, denoted as this. Where uh, A is an N, M by N matrix and X is an N by 1 matrix, so it only has one column. It's denoted like this normally. So you have a matrix A, B, C, D. Um, we're pretending, pretending that this represents a system of equations. Uh, what this is going to result in is AX plus BY equals B1, and then CX plus DY equals B2. And uh, now we're just going to take, uh, take a look at some examples just so you guys can see um, how, how matrix multiplication really does work uh, with numbers. So first, we're going to start off with uh, two two by two matrices. Uh, the resultant is going to be a two by two matrix. It's one of the most basic examples we can look at. So we have a matrix one, four, negative three, two, and a matrix three, two, five, six. Now we're going to multiply 1 times 3 and add 4 times 5. And that's our entry in the first position. Now we want our entry in the second position, so we're going to add, multiply 1 times 2 and 4 times 6. And notice uh, we're multiplying the first row by the second column. That's why we get the first row in the second column in matrix C. Uh, now negative 3 times 3 plus 2 times 5. And finally negative 3 times 2 plus 2 times 6. So you can see it's fairly simple for square matrices. It's just going to result in another square matrix of the same size. But now let's take a look at an example with uh, some different size matrices. Let's say a 3 by 2 and a 2 by 1. So we have a 3 by 2 and a 2 by 1, so 3 times 2, 2 times 1. We can multiply these matrices together and it's going to result in a 3 by 1 matrix. So let's start off and just multiply this through. 6 times 4, negative 1 times 2. 4 times 4 and negative 4 times 2. 
add to make eight, and five times four and negative eight times two, add to make four. So the resultant matrix is a three by one matrix, 22, eight, four. Last, we're gonna take a look. Uh, let's do a two by two and a two by three. So we have a two by two and a two by three. The resultant matrix is gonna be another two by three, uh, which isn't always the case. Uh, as you saw in that last example, the resultant matrix was not the same size as either matrix. It's not always gonna be the case. But uh, let's just go ahead and multiply out here. Four times four plus negative six times two. And uh, we're, I'm just gonna go right through and fill in these entries. Uh, you can try it on your own and see what the answer is. So the resultant matrix is the two by three matrix, four, 42, eight, 10, 15, negative seven. So uh, just one last quick note. Um, let's notice uh, that AB doesn't equal BA uh, in most cases with matrix multiplication. Uh, just looking at this last example, we have a two by two and a two by three. If you tried to multiply the two by three times the two by two, you would get two by three and two by two. So you can't actually multiply those matrices together uh, if you want to see it done out. So if you try and multiply a matrix that has three columns and then only two rows, you're gonna see that you're gonna do A times G plus B times I, and then C has nothing to uh, multiply with. So you can't multiply a matrix that doesn't have the uh, same number of rows in the second matrix as the number of columns in the first. Uh, that's the most important rule to uh, remember about matrix multiplication. Uh, and just remember this formula, CIK equals uh, the sum of AIJ, BJK.